Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I have a lot on today, this week in general, excess hand gestures. And I thought a little like day in the life of a psychology researcher at St Andrews would be fun. But I've kind of had a crap morning and my anxiety is through the roof. Oh look at that, it's above the camera. It's so high. So the intention was to start this whenever I got up, but it's not like, because it's lunchtime. So, so far what I've done today is I'm working on my study, which I suppose I will start with an overview of study and kind of a slight begging for anyone who wants to participate. So my study is looking into the effects of like self-compassion and perfectionism on disordered eating behaviours. So you do not need to have a clinical eating disorder diagnosis as long as you identify with having disordered eating. That's cool. The point of this study is my participants come in, we do a little zoom, a little zoom chat, get to like see everyone's faces, have a brief chat, then they do a like survey, a lot of like self-report questions, you know, dealing with like perfectionism, self-compassion, eating behaviours, etc. Then you are given access to an intervention, it's just a little like 15 minute thing every day, a little self-compassion exercise. Complete that every day for, or as close to every day, uh, for four weeks. And then after those four weeks, you do the same survey at the start, fingers crossed, there's improvement. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you're interested in, you wanna help me research, um, I'll leave some further information down below. Leave a comment, I'll leave my uni email, email me, and we can arrange something. But if you don't want to and you're just here for the vlog, that is also, 100% okay. I am currently dealing with trying to figure out some data. My favourite part, not at all, I hate data. I'm a booktube channel. I hate numbers, I hate statistical analyses and it is really deeply kicking my ass but I'm currently trying to find some of like the specific skills that I've taken questions from. Like looking them up getting their references and also figuring out what to do with data because I have to score the skills and I'm gonna be honest it's probably sounding a bit alien to most people because it sounds a bit alien to me but um my camera was dead as well which only added to this fun morning and a late start to the vlog but what I did this morning was I have um seven skills I need to find all this information for so I wrote in Mawams <laughs> And for every skill I finish, I get to eat a mawam and it's going pretty good. I've got three so far, but I'm going to just finish doing this. I've kind of tried to cheer off enough. I then have a call in about 40 minutes with a participant, yay! And more calls later, but I'll talk about them as they come. So let's get on with this day. Nothing is better than finding the exact paper you're looking for. Back to town. I have moved out of the anxiety pit, also known as my office, because I got something exciting. Some things exciting, I guess. Oh, Mr. Postman came and brought book me all. And I am excited. I am having a bit of a crappy morning. I'm very anxious. I hate dealing with data and it's just fun, like all aboard. I mean, I know I already talked about my anxiety, but choo choo, all aboard the anxiety train. Let's go. So I thought I would open these and chat about them with you. The first one is from Penguin. Like, where's the little. No, that's not gonna focus. You can see the little like Penguin sticker and I always. I just get so excited. Like, I still can't believe that like Penguin won't like send me stuff. Like, open it. It's so sticky, I don't want to catch the book on it. Ooh, how stunning is this cover? I have Tish Delaney's other book over there. I don't know why I'm pointing at it when you can't see it. 
um, before my actual heartbreaks, which my mum has read and absolutely adores. Tish is a Northern Irish author. Well, I was going to say like myself, I'm not an author um, yet anyway, but yeah, she writes a lot of books centering on Northern Ireland and this one, people are saying on Instagram, is already like five stars, bringing them to tears. I am so excited to read this one. It comes out uh, June 2022. I have 26th of June in my head, but we'll be reading this. It's quite thick, thicker than I expected. And a very good size as well. I sometimes find proofs come in like the really big hardback, not hardbacks, paperbacks, so the size of hardbacks. But I'm so, so excited for this one. Thank you so much, Penguin. We then have two from Can and Gate, and I will choose these at random. Um, open. So let's see. Once again, they're so safe. I mean, that's good. Oh, it is blue and we have small bodies of water. My friend Tilly read this and really enjoyed. I remember seeing her review on her Instagram and it's now in paperback. And I have a copy. Yay! I'm very, very excited to read this one. I have wanted to read it for a long time, but I just, I just don't enjoy reading hardbacks. I much prefer reading paperbacks. So I was waiting for the paperback release and I've very kindly been sent it. Um, so a huge thank you to Can and Get. I gave like no introduction to this one. I just, I just started opening. If I can get it open. Oh, there we go. The colors on these are like actually stunning, but we have the, I'm dropping everything there. The Startup Wife. I once again have heard such amazing things about this. I once again wanted to read, but I've waited for the paperback release and for good reason. She's stunning. Like look at these. I think I'm like a blue theme going on there and then the gorgeous pastels of this one but I am so extremely grateful thank you so much to all of these publishers to Penguin and to Canon Gia I just I say it every vlog but I can't believe it this has definitely made my little research day a little better so now I have more motivation to go get my stuff done so I can maybe read some of these later as you can see I'm back in the office also known as the pit of despair but it is like 3.58 and I have a big scary call at 4 so really should I even be vlogging right now? Probably not but I am so I hope you're appreciating it. It's yeah I do not have a clue what's going on with a lot of the stats and if I had a professor very kindly reach out and offer to give me her expertise and some help um but I'm not very good at like being vulnerable and going in and go I don't have a clue what I'm doing so I'm so unbelievably grateful but it's still terrifying. So I have now passed yet another minute, so I gotta go, go on this call, and I will update you whenever I'm done because hopefully, I mean, unless I have a real statistical vigor that I'm finished with this call and I'm just gonna dive headfirst into it, which I doubt, I think that's tomorrow's job. Um, unless that happens at 5 p.m., I am done. And I'm making like a cup of tea, reading a book, curling up on the sofa, getting out of my jeans because I did not show you. I'm wearing jeans today and this really cute shirt. I hope you're liking it for the vlog but yeah. I'll probably talk more about the jeans later. Got them recently. Absolutely adore them but I am wearing jeans, not sweatpants, to work from home. That is revolutionary for me. I'm procrastinating. I have to go. Bye. <laughs> I've set my glasses down somewhere along the way and I I deeply don't know where they are. I think they might be in my living room. But scary call is over and it went really well. The professor was so nice. Like she talked me through one of my skills and we like recoded some variables. Uh, it made sense. Like it actually, numbers made sense to me. Numbers do not often make sense to me. Also friendly reminder, stay hydrated. These classes are so cool. I got them in B&M bargains and they just sit on my desk and I'm reminded to drink a lot of water. But water is cool, your brain needs water to function. So stay hydrated during your work day. <sighs> but it went well and now it is one minute to five. It's like an hour later. Exactly an hour later actually. Um, and I am going to try and work on some more of these skills whenever it's fresh in my mind and see if I can do it. I feel this is gonna be that horrible moment, you know, never like someone's teaching you to do something and like they do it with you and they're like holding your hand and you've got it and then they'll go your hand. 
you're on your own and suddenly it's the most difficult thing in the world. So, might be like that, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna manifest a good as well. I'm so looking forward to a big cup of tea and my book whenever this is over. Hopefully soon. Okay, I was just writing a nice little thank you email to that professor because I love a good thank you email. I love receiving them and I love giving them a look at this email I just wrote. But for the first time in my life, I'm looking forward to getting up tomorrow and working on some more numbers on SPSS. I can assure you, I have never looked forward to using SPSS ever in my whole life, hate numbers. But I'm so grateful, it makes a lot more sense and it's good to get it done. I've done two of seven or eight and that's a like good going that means and i only started at like what four so that's good going to get a lot of them if not all of them done tomorrow yay i might vlog tomorrow i might not i'm rambling a lot on this footage already so an extra long vlog might not be the mood but i know on wednesday i'm gonna give myself a nice chill day so i'm very much Looking forward to that and it seems like I can actually like reward myself and properly rest because I am making a lot of progress. So I'm very happy. Let's leave. Tea time! The most beautiful sight after a day of work. Look at that blue light. When we are waiting on the tea to brew, I thought this would be a really good time to the jeans I was talking about earlier. Even though I've just realised, I don't think you can see them, you're resting on a pile of books. So, what I'm going to do is take like half the books off. Uh, we're going to hope maybe, just maybe, you can sort of see them. A few more books still to go. This is chaos. Truly. Better! Yay! These are the Diana Dana? I do not know what style. They're by Lucy Nack. I'm gonna hop up in bed. They're kind of like a sort of like mom jean straight leg. They are a bit long on my tiny little legs on my cat socks. But they are so comfy and like so high waisted you can't even see that. Like they go literally <laughs> my bra ends here. My jeans start here. Whenever I sit down, they are literally just one entity. Like, boobs and stomach. The jeans just hit the same thing. Not related to my breath from hopping up in the bed, but not related to um, my research in any way at all. But I've been asked about them on Instagram a few times and I thought we could cover them here. So I'm very, very happy with them. So cute. This little flouncy shirt also just looks adorable with them. But, whew, I need to catch my breath. And the perfect memory for that is tea, which hopefully should be brewed by now. I love fried rice. Do you know, I was gonna like very dramatically go, ah, oh, big sexy piece of broccoli, but it is so warm, it will burn my tongue. I mean, quick and easy, little student meal, you know, like leftover rice, whatever veggies I have on hand. I did a big grocery shop yesterday. So I have so many veggies, I have some broccoli in here, cauliflower, aubergine, mushroom. That was all I could be bothered to chop if I'm being honest. So normally I would do like onion, carrot, peas, chickpeas, tofu, but 
broccoli, cauliflower, mushroom, aubergine. All we've got today. Whoops. I've also changed into something comfy, but I'll show you that in more detail later because I'm going to eat this boo boo. Long time, no update. Well, not really long time. It's like an hour or two afterwards. I had quite a late dinner. So this seems like it's such a like much later update, but it's not that late really. I moved from eating on the sofa to reading in bed. I'm still drawing this. So I put my half-ish way through. I don't know, like no matter how, I just keep reading. Um, this book just won't stop. Like it, <laughs> it's so big. And it's not even like massively big. It's like 500 pages, but that is big enough that I keep reading and I think I'm getting closer to the end and I'm just not and I have a lot of books to get through at the moment so it's turning into a slight pressure but I'm just gonna stay here in bed reading until I get tired enough to go to sleep to be honest so I'm going to end the vlog here I'm so grateful for you guys coming along with me today I started off today thinking that it was like the worst day ever. I was so anxious. I thought everything was going wrong. And you know what? It's been really nice. Not at the end of it, at like 11 p.m. I'm like, it was a good day. It was a good day. So I'm very grateful for you guys for helping me along this good day, for coming along, just for being here and for sitting through whatever my friend is doing. It just will not just won't sit right now but <laughs> thanks so much again i'm gonna read till i sleep i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next week